Hello guys, welcome back to North Coast Constrictors, Benito, South Africa. As you can see, I hope it's working well. I have a new microphone set. It has taken two weeks. I took the old one and replaced it with a newer, better quality one. So hopefully the better quality is coming through and it's not distorted and my voice is not crackling. I did test that out earlier and it seemed to be working fine. Guys, the last video I did, I showed you my mails in a new rack. And if you look behind me, I know you can probably see something that you haven't seen before. All these new racks. Um, I've had to move racks into the middle now. I've got more racks behind there. And then over here, that whole wall is hatchling racks. You can't see it. This is a cupboard door here. I'm not going to close it because I've got this piece of wire here. And these are all sub-adult yearlings inside here. I've got that entire wall. From there, you can't see the camera. There's a, from that wall right up to the end to that wall are all racks. Behind you, there's another rack full of snakes. And then I'll just move the camera around here so that you can see I've got more racks over there, breeding racks. But I'm not going to go on too much about that, guys, because I want to get cracking with this video. I want to pull out some of the snakes that I'm going to be breeding this year. I pulled out some of the males. I'm now going to show you some of the females, okay? Right. Um, let's see if... I, I did pull the snake out. I think she's a stunner. I'm working... This is a... This is a runway, guys. I know I've pulled her out before. She's a runway. I know you guys are thinking, what's a runway? Maybe some of you aren't. You get highway, freeway, and you do get runway. Freeway is asphalt to gravel. Uh, highway is yellow belly to gravel. And runway is flare to gravel. So this is a visual gravel flare. So we call it a runway. It is a world's first, but I didn't produce it. One of my friends did. He produced two. One was a pastel, one wasn't, that's the, that's the wasn't. <laughs> so I got it. I also have got this beautiful highway male. Now this is a highway, which is a yellow belly gravel, a visual yellow belly gravel. I did do a video on him. He has got a month off, okay, because I'm just putting on a bit more size on him. Okay, lovely. How's that black nose? You got a nice little black dot on his nose there. Looks like he looks... <laughs> I thought he had something stuck on his nose when I first saw him. Anyway, now I'm going to show you the females that this guy's pairing up to. Okay. An ivory. Beautiful snake. Hello, my sweetheart. Are you okay? Are you ready? You're not going to bite me. Oh, that was close. But no, you're not. She's a little nervous of me. And the reason why is because she's new to my collection and she doesn't know me. So she's still getting used to my scent. So this is a fully grown adult proven breeder, Ivory, which is a super yellow belly, okay? So super yellow belly mixed to highway, that's going to give me gravels, it's going to give me uh, probably more Ivories, it's going to give me highways, um, yeah, there's a combination. So she is one of the females that is going to be locking up but she's also off for about a month then he's pairing to two females this year this is the other one who seems to love the water bowl um this is a black pastel yellow belly okay i want to get a little bit more size they have locked up uh but this is a black pastel yellow belly so she's pairing up to that Highway male as well. I think we're going to get stunning snakes. Um, I'm wondering what black pastel is going to do in, in, in highway. So black pastel, yellow belly female pairing up to that highway male. All right. Okay. So, jeez, uh, to pull out, let's see how this girl is doing. Uh, this year, this is just all dominant genes. This is a pastel pinstripe fire. Fire pastel pinstripe, firefly pinstripe. I think they call it a lemon blast something. Uh, I don't know. I'm still learning. Um, she hasn't locked to any male yet, but she's going to be going to my single gene desert ghost male. Okay. 
So she's one of the females creating 100% head desert ghosts with hopefully pastel pinstripe and pyre. Okay. Um, got a lovely hypo over here. Okay. Just a single gene hypo female. She's 10 years old. She's a stunner and she is pairing up to a blackhead pinstripe 100% head hypo male, but he's a blackhead red gene. He's got the blackhead red gene in him. I did pair them up last season. I got incredible hatchlings from them. I'm not going to pull out the hatchlings now. I have done videos on them, but I got we we discovered that we had the red gene and the black the black the black blackhead blackhead not black pastel blackhead red gene pinstripe hundred percent head hypo and I got visual blackhead pinstripe hypos and red gene and visual blackhead hypos and then also. Blackhead 100% head hoppers. They're stunning snakes, stunning snakes. Uh, this beautiful pod girl here, she shed our telemo, sweetheart. How are you? This just a single gene pod female. Okay. She is pairing up to a clown 100% head pod male. Um, and hopefully we get some pod 100% head clown hatchlings or 100% double head clown pods. Either way, it's a win-win situation. And um, next door, we have another one, identical, just a lot bigger. Well, a lot bigger. She, she, she's quite a bit bigger. She's a little bit chunkier, a bit fatter. She's lovely. Look at those marks. She's also just a straight pod, and she's already locked up with that, that clown 100% head pod male. She is a stunning, as far as pods go, just as a single gene normal pod, I mean those those patterns on her they're just banging. But I mean honestly, look at that. She is just she's just stunning, and uh, and she's gonna go flat out. So that's I am working on the clown pod project. I do have other genes that I'm, I'm not just doing clown pod. Okay. I'm working on a couple of heads, and I'm going to pull out some of them here. So now here we've got a cinnamon, 100% head pod, 50% head clown. Okay, so there's cinnamon inside this one here, um, and she's also pairing up to that clown, 100% head pod. So we may get visual because she's got she's 50% head for, 50% uh, head for clown, 100% head for pod. And who knows, we may get cinnamon clown pods out of, out of that pairing, okay? Uh, she is not alone in the clown pod project. Next to her, we have a uh, 100%, she's 100% head pod, 50% head clown, so there's no cinnamon, but um, breeding ready. And then another girl that we've got over here, she, where have I moved her to? Uh, that's crazy. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, guys. Let me just try and find one of my snakes. It's uh, she's a pastel, uh, pastel cinnamon, hundred percent head part, fifty percent head clown, and for the life of me, I don't know where she is, uh, and that bothers me. Uh, I did that the other day when I was changing everything around, so I've put her somewhere. Anyway, we'll get back to, we'll get back there. Pastel, I haven't seen a pastel. Okay, I've got to pull out this male. This guy's crazy. This is one of my new snakes. This is a Pastel Mystic Mojave Enchi. I know it's a male and I said I was going to pull out females, but this guy's just like, he's wild. I mean, he's, he's like yesterday he nearly bit me. Um, probably about four or five times. It, I mean, he's a stunner, real, real stunner. 
Uh, very, very unique, very unique snake, this. So, uh, he, was in a, he was in a bad mood yesterday. This here, guys, I want to show you something here, and, and, and I'm stumped on this, okay? I think this is a banana Mojave, uh, but the guy that I got her from says it's a yellow belly Mojave, but I don't see how it can be a yellow belly Mojave, okay? Because it just it, it doesn't, doesn't sound right to me because of the coloring, okay? But she's all over the place. She's definitely, a, I, I think she's a banana Mojave, personally, okay, if you have a look at it. Uh, but there are no black spots, zero at all. And this is part of the collection that I took over from a mate of mine that can't do it anymore. And her tub said, uh, yellow belly Mojave. I, I don't see how this can be a yellow belly Mojave. I mean, I know she's yellow, but I mean, this this looks more like there's, there's, there's something else going on here, guys. Uh, help me out. Those guys that are... I am going to be sending a photograph to one of my mates that's like a wizard with IDing snakes. But I just think that the tub was marked wrong. But I don't know how it can be banana because normally the banana is at this size. You've got those black speckles on them. Like, so there's, there's got to be something else going on there. But it's definitely Mojave for sure. Nope. Um, and let's see if I can pull out. Let's, let's hope this is the one. No, it's not. Uh, I got a champagne here, guys, that's off the charts. I got a champagne female here that is unbelievable. Yep, here she is. Okay, I think it's a pastel champagne. Unfortunately, this guy didn't keep too much, uh, like he didn't do his labeling that well. So I'm like trying to add, add these snakes. But this is a champagne. Um, but she's not just a normal champagne. I think this is a pastel champagne or there's something else inside her. There's definitely not, I think. There is. Because if we pull out just a normal champagne, okay, this this is a normal champagne, okay? So here, here we've got a champagne and, you know, oh, sorry. <laughs> you both girls don't get jealous. Uh, so, yeah, what do you guys think? Champagne, pastel champagne, you know. So, um, great, great snakes. This I love this champagne. I love this champagne. Anyway, uh, let's see what else. There is another one that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I don't know where she where I've put her. Um. Oh, hang on a second. She's down here. A mystic pastel. A mystic pastel. And she looks beautiful, okay? She looks absolutely stunning. Maybe she's just a bit plain for some people, but I don't know. I'm just looking at this and I'm going, fuck. I, I'm obviously going to add a recessive in here and I'm going to really bang this girl. I'm going to just throw... I just think there's so much that can be done with this. Um, so, yeah, she, she's got great size on her. I don't know what I'm going to pair her up with yet. I always want to go down the desert ghost route, I have to be honest. Um, and then he has a pastel Mojave. Um, and she's stunning. She really is. She's beautiful. I know I'm showing you very basic snakes here, guys. Very basic, eh? Not, not high end genes, but look at the states of that. That is a pastel Mojave. I mean, I've got Mojaves. I'll show you that. I mean, where's one of my Mojaves? Uh, boom, 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 boom. I'll be down here somewhere, I think. <laughs> See, this is crazy. I've moved my entire collection around, so um, just to try and make space. Anyway, oh, uh, here we go. That's a normal Mojave. If she was a snake, she would have bitten me. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, normal Mojave and pastel Mojave. 
Okay. So, yeah, I mean, wow. And they're both beautiful snakes. <clears throat> Guys, pastel. Don't hate the pastel. Pastel, pastel is brilliant. P pastel is lovely, especially in desert ghosts. Guys, I'm doing a lot of desert ghosts with pastel. In. Um, all right, I think it's kind of safe to pull out this girl now. Uh, she was a little bit sick. In fact, she is going to get one last course of antibiotics. Um, tonight um unfortunately she was she wasn't in very good condition when when i got her she's not hasn't been fed well this is a pastel enchi candy this is a pastel enchi candy i think i have shown her before she has now taken two meals um and tonight she she's she's been on a course of antibiotics and tonight she gets her last dose of antibiotics but I'm happy to say that she is looking absolutely spectacular. Guys, candy is incredible. And now this is pastel enchi candy. So she is absolutely stunning. That is opening up a whole new avenue for us for next year's breeding season. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the male, which I think I have already done. Uh, he's a uh, super enchi. Super Enchi Candy. I can't get enough of this guy. I really, really cannot get enough of this male. Super Enchi Candy. He's just insane. He's like, he's, let me just smell that. Guys, pay attention to your nose. Okay, if you've got a snake that's poop, it is really, really, really bad. Like, not just your normal really bad smelling poop but like a rotten type of smell that means that your snake needs some kind of attention there's something medically that i've learned that the hard way and needs a course of antibiotics there's some gut infection or bacteria in the gut it needs a course of antibiotics get it to your vet straight away if you smell something really 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 putrid when you open it up and it's just the poo and the urate have it checked out guys don't don't let it go that's what happened with her. Uh, that's what happened with her, and she's on a course of antibiotics, and she's fine now. All right, now guys, I got a bunch of candinos. Uh, let's pull out this one here. This is a beautiful candino. She did try and bite me this morning when I was doing a temperature check, but she's a stunning candino. I uh, got a sneaking suspicion she's got something else inside her. Got three females, all candinos, but I put question marks next to them because I don't believe this to be straight candino or any of them to be straight candinos, to be honest with you. All right, guys, we're hitting 18 minutes now, so I want to try and wrap this up. I want to show you a, let's have a look here. Let's, let's pull out something that's, you see, this is what happens with banana, guys. This is a banana spider, 100% hexantic. Look at these black spots here, okay? You're going to start getting that speckling, okay, as they get older. Not, I mean, the camera is quite bright at the moment, okay? Maybe a better example would be, um, yeah, he has a much better example. Don't bite me. This is a banana enchi. Okay, banana enchi male. Okay, look at those black spots. Those aren't mites. Those, that, that's actually the black spots on the snake. So that's what happens with banana. That's why I'm looking at that yellow belly Mojave and I'm, I'm thinking, well, I can't be banana because, I mean, she's an adult and she does not have one black spot on her. So I've, that, that there is a, a problem that I've got to sort out. I've got to find out what it is. Okay. Um, guys, my black pastel pod, the one that was almost near death, uh, I, I did a video on tube feeding. I showed you what she looked like a couple of weeks ago. I haven't done a video on her for a while. I also haven't fed her for five days. Okay. So she, she's nice and digested. So I'm not going to show you a fat snake. I want to show you what this snake looks like now. Okay. Look, this is a black pastel pod. Black pastel pod female. Look at her now. Look at that. 
I remember doing a video where I took a screenshot and I showed you what is her. The back looked like her uh, folds were coming down. She was brown underneath her tail. She was brown around her cloaca. Look at that now. Look how nice and clean that is. Look at those colors. Yeah, she's a high white, but she, she is. She's a black pastel part, and that's what happens with black pastel. Sometimes you're lucky and you get a nice saddle, maybe two. Okay, but look how healthy she is. Look at those tongue flicks. And let me tell you guys, she's smashing food on her own. No tube feeding, nothing. I put a rodent in, I offer her a rodent. She's going to go into shed. I can see that there's a slight little pink tinge coming onto her. Uh, guys, just a bit of advice. I saw on a group chat, a guy was panicking. One of his, uh, he's got a bell. And uh, it, it, it looks like they almost get a rash when they're going to sh shed. They get this like reddish, pinkish spots on them. And you think that there's something wrong with your snake. Guys, obviously you have it checked out. Um, but if you do think there's something wrong with the snake, okay. But usually high white snakes, especially in the bell complex or high white pods when they're about to shed or they're in shed straight after, they will go, they will look like they have a pink rash on them. So it's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. And then let's have a look here. This is a girl that went off food and she's back on food. She's a fire pod and she is smashing again. She, uh, fire does this to pod guys. It makes them very high white. She's only got one saddle on her, which is here by her neck. Um, but I've got plans for the fire. I want to do exantic pastel fire pods. I want to add because it's brightening jeans. Um, but then I, I'm thinking maybe about moving away from fire and going vanilla rather. Um, I do have vanilla pod, but she, she's still exceptional. Uh, but I want to add this into the exantic pod project. Okay. So, because fire obviously is a brightening gene. Now, this was a girl that was off food and now she's smashing again. So, we've got a couple of good success stories. Um, I was stressing about her. Uh, and then, I know I've shown you this snake before, but I'm going to show you him one last time. Hopefully, he doesn't take a chunk out of me. I think he's beautiful. Stunning snake. Orange Dream Yellow Belly Champagne Enchi. Orange Dream Yellow Belly Champagne Enchi. Male. Okay. And I'm pairing them up to a Firefly female. And uh, there's a couple of other females I've got my eye on. I'm going to be trying to create wild, bright, beautiful patterns. Not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to have the two and the, the double and triple recessive combos to have very, very visually appealing snakes. Um, I take, for example, this beautiful snake over here. She's still a yearling. Okay, but this, this beautiful girl here, I mean, look at that. That is just like, wow. And that is a super pastel fire inchy orange dream. And, you know, those are all, you know, um, those are all incomplete dominant genes. Not one recessive in there. Of course we're going to put recessive in there. She's going to get paired up to a pod. Or it is a ghost. <laughs> Guys, I think that about wraps it up for me. I know I want to pull up more snakes. I want to pull up more snakes for you. I do. I know there was one that I wanted to show you. Um, I think it was... Nah, not that one. Um, I'm trying to keep my videos real, guys. Okay, let's put out this girl here. I think she's in the shed or she's in the blue, maybe not. This is a bitch. This is an albino pod. Okay, she's still a yearling, albino pod. Okay, I'm not sure if she's going into the blue, but literally, if yeah, she is like yesterday, like I just opened the tub and she like struck at me probably about three times and in, 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 in a second and she's ready to rock and roll now. But look at that beautiful albino pod, guys. Look at that. Okay, don't, don't bite me now. And she's eating like a beast. 
also part of the collection that I got from that friend of mine that's now no longer doing it. Um, and that's enough. That's the end of <laughs> this beautiful boy here. Ultramel, 100% hit albino male. Ultramel, guys, I've gone into the Ultramel projects as well. Ultramel, Candy, and Candino. Ultramel, um, it's, it's, it's a new avenue for North Coast Constrictors. Next year, we'll be breeding these. I've got racks full of them. Albinos, Ultramel, 100% hit Ultramel. I can't pull them out now. So... This is this is this is this is the ultra male boy, and then I've got another three ultra male boys that are a little bit smaller than him in the smaller tubs. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday night, yeah. I'm gonna go and have supper now, and then I'm gonna come into the snake room, and I've got to hit that hatchling section, and I've got to clean every single hatchling rack. I've got to take each hatchling out put it in a holding container, change the substrate, spray every single tub down with F10, put fresh substrate, fresh water, and I've got 160 of them to do, okay, including the ones in the other room. So it's going to be a long night for me. Let me sign out and get on with the job. Guys, please like and subscribe. Join the journey with us. Also, we're on Instagram, North Coast underscore constrictors. Hit us up there. Come and follow us. Join the journey. See you on the next video. Cheers.